Melbourne manhunt. Victorian police searching for a violent sex attacker who assaulted a 21-year-old woman on her way home. Catch me if you can. Can Wild Oats claim an eighth line on his win as Perpetual Loyal returns home with hull damage? New Year's Eve party guide. We've got the best places to see the fireworks in your city. Plus the teacher who made his high school class write letters to their future selves and is tracking them down 20 years later for the ultimate lesson. Disco people, it is Sunday the 28th of December 2014. It is great to have your company and it's great to have your company this morning as well, Good Chris. Good to see you, Deb. We're getting our disco rehearsals in for New Year's Eve already. Oh, no, three more sleeps to go <laughs> Wednesday night. I keep checking the weather app though to see in every city we'll have your take on we'll what's happening know. in your city during the course of the morning as well. And a very good morning to you, Tom. Good morning, Deb. You're, you're, I'm sure you've got some party plans for New Year's Eve. Oh, look, one or two things happening. One but or two. If we're talking about preparations for New Year's, what about yours? You yesterday spent the day mowing the lawn. <laughs> I spent the day mowing the lawn. How about that? Some good service. Deb's yeah. uh, offering to come around. Forget dial right. a hubby, dial me. Yeah. I got out there and did Fantastic. it. I know. Yeah. Mates rates as well for us, hopefully. Well, so. I've got some footage of that later <laughs> in the show as well. Deb doesn't know about, but it's, uh, it's pretty impressive stuff. Wow, secret cam. Yeah, I'm a busy girl out in the garden. That's it. That's it. Also busy is Clint. He's joining us in Melbourne Hello. for the MCG. No gardening for you. It'd be a lot of lawn to mow exactly. there. Exactly. <laughs> very, very shortly. <laughs> a lot of lawn to oh, Perfect. I love the high tea there. Good on you. Thanks, Stannis. Thanks, Stannis. Well, time for the most extensive news bulletin for the morning. It's over to Tom Stifer. Thank you, Chris. And we'll begin with the story that's going to develop through the show today. The Sydney to Hobart yacht race is entering its final hours and we've got a clear leader powering towards the finish line. Today reporter Lauren Ellis is at Constitution Dock for us this morning. Lauren, just who's out in front and how far are they now from line honours. Good morning, Tom. Well